today I'm getting kind of a late start. <laughs> but I definitely slept in. And then I had to wake up and ship some packages and I have to run to the post office and drop those off. But after that, I'm going to go pick up some free fill dirt. So I'm gonna start filling in this bed I made in the front. Right now, I have laid out a retention wall, basically bordering where I want the flower bed to go. On one side of it, it slopes downwards, so I built up the rocks to be like two rocks tall. I'm not totally finished with that. I have to get some more rocks and make it level all the way across. But today, I really wanna get some fill dirt because I am going to, I'm gonna weed whack the grass to get it down as low as possible and then i'm going to use either cardboard or like paper bags to lay down on top of the grass and start the process of a no dig bed a no dig bed is a method where instead of tilling up and disturbing the ground you can lay down a compostable material such as cardboard on top of grass and weeds to suffocate them then you layer on soil and compost and begin planting the cardboard breaks down over time, allowing plants to access the earth below once there's been plenty of time for the grass and weeds to die out. So I wanna do that as soon as possible. I'm going to put fill dirt on top of it because I do have to build up the sloped edge and I just want to be able to hold down all of the cardboard and paper bags. And then after that, in probably a month when all of my seedlings are ready to plant, I will fill it in with more garden bed soil and some compost and then start planting stuff in there. But I wanna get this done now so that the grass will start dying and it'll just start that process sooner rather than later. I'm also slightly concerned that it's gonna look weird with just the rocks being there and my HOA is gonna get on to me about that. So I would like to make it look like a bed as soon as possible because I don't wanna have to deal with them messaging me and getting a violation notice because I get those quite often. And it's not the best thing ever. It's actually quite annoying. I get them if I leave my trash can out for an extra day. I get them if there's a vine hanging over my fence. I got one recently about my Christmas lights being up too long, which fair, it's almost March and my Christmas lights were up still. But like, it's very annoying. So that's the goal today. It is a very beautiful day out. I might also try to swing by Home Depot and potentially a local garden place. I wanna get some cabbage seeds. And then I also need to get some seedling trays to pot up my peppers. Right now they're in little 72 cell trays and they are way too small. And also there's double in some of them. And I just can't bring myself to thin them out. So I'm gonna try to get some trays to pot them up. So I have so many places to go and I have two hours before I have to pick up Eliza from after school activities. So I have two hours to get all this done and I'm not sure I can do it, but I'm gonna try. <sighs> I better get to it. So I got my dirt. I will show you. <laughs> Okay, this is what the dirt looks like. It's pretty sandy, it's kind of rocky, and it has a lot of sod in it, which is not the best thing ever, but it's fine considering I will be putting a bunch of soil on top of it. I'm okay with that. This is what the bed looks like right now. I don't know if you can tell, there is a slope downward, so I'm building these rocks up. I'm about to weed whack it and then potentially start putting down paper and the swell that I just got. I'm using paper bags that I got from collecting leaves from around my neighborhood. They're just thick paper bags that I'm cutting and using as the bottom layer to suffocate out all the grass and weeds.
I lost some footage here, but I ended up putting a few inches of leaves over all of the fill dirt to add in some organic materials that will eventually break down over time and add nutrients and improve this basic sandy fill dirt. It also helps fill in the slope a bit more and make the garden bed level with the sidewalk. I decided to put in a little walkway here using the bricks that I used creating the pathway from my backyard, mostly because there is guest parking on the side of my house and lots of times people cut across from my front door to the guest parking. So I'm creating a little walkway so that they don't step on all my plants. It is later in the evening. I ran to Home Depot, I got an extra bag of soil, and I finished laying out all the soil. I also went to Walmart and got another rose bush and some tiny roses. <laughs> They're so cute. I went ahead and planted those. It was getting dark, so I didn't film it, but I will show you in the morning. I planted an apple tree as well. So one apple, two regular sized rose bushes, and two mini rose bushes. And then I also laid out a bunch of seed, tons of flowers. So I'm gonna run you through those really quick. Most of them I just scattered everywhere white and purple echinacea. I put this along the borders that were on the side of my grass. Uh, these are all my dollar store seeds, so we'll see if they're good. I'm really curious to see if they will sprout. We'll see. Two kinds of bachelor buttons, the blue I use in my business, and then these I just thought were pretty, so I got those. Forget-me-nots. I don't remember where I planted these. There's one left in here. Oh, okay. I'll have to go throw that out. My memory card was full, now it's fine. And I'm back, okay. I planted a couple different kinds of daisies, Shasta daisies and African daisies, and I think I planted those along the edges near the grass as well. I made a little poppy patch near my driveway. 
I put yellow California poppies, these watermelon ones, and these giant peony mixed color ones. I'm really excited about those, they're so pretty. And then I planted a ton of different zinnias. Lily put mixed colors, semi dwarf pumilla mixed colors, giant double flowered canary bird, envy, and giant double violet queen. I also planted some black eyed Susans because they remind me of my mother. Her name is Susan. A few cosmos. Helichrysum, which I actually use in my business, and I've never seen this as a plant, so I'm really curious to see if these will pop up. And then I also planted some red clovers along the edges of the sidewalk and along my little pathway. So I hope those these come up. These are supposed to be really good for you. I am going to probably go through my seedlings indoors tonight and see what are ready to be hardened off to put out in the front yard. Luckily the seedlings, the flower seedlings inside are doing pretty well and then it'll just take about five days to harden them off and then I'll be able to plant them. They're still pretty small so I'm gonna keep watering the front and make sure everything gets incorporated as far as the soil settling and stuff like that and then in five days everything will be ready and I'll be able to start planting out all my little flowers that I've been painstakingly taking care of. <laughs> um, I feel like the hardening off is the part where I always get messed up and kill things. So I'm trying to be really diligent about that. I'm also gonna be really good about putting a fan on the seedlings to harden them, harden the stems off a little bit while they're inside. Hopefully I don't kill them all. If not, I just put out hundreds of seeds. So something's going to grow out there. And I also put out all the roses in the apple, which I need to trim tomorrow. And I'm not an expert on trimming, but it's literally one stick. And I think that I just need to trim it down to like three feet tall and encourage it to grow stems because it doesn't have any. So that'll be a quick and easy project tomorrow. I'm just afraid. <laughs> I mean, how much can I mess it up? It's literally a stick. <sighs> I'm exhausted. Tonight is going to be an early night. Here's what I planted yesterday. There's a rose back there, mini rose. This is the apple tree, another mini rose, and a regular rose. Look how pretty though. So cute. Thank you for watching and don't forget to like and subscribe.